Hey guys, good morning. This is Dan with Ledger Support. So today in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a EOS account with your Ledger device and third-party apps. So let's get into it. So the first thing I want to do is first make sure that I have the latest version of Ledger Live downloaded on my computer. And then I want to make sure that I've got the latest version of the EOS app installed on my Ledger device. So how do I do this? Go to ledger.com slash ledger.live. It's on the Ledger website and click download the app and select your OS. This will download the latest version of Ledger Live on your computer. Next, open Ledger Live, connect your Ledger device. So in my case, I'm going to wake up my device using my pen. Okay. Then I'm going to go into the manager. Allow the manager. And once I'm in the manager, I'm going to type EOS and I want this app here, EOS, brackets, EOS. That's the one I want. Click install, and this will install the EOS app on my device. You can see here it's loading. And now the EOS app is installed. Now, I cannot use Ledger Live to create an EOS account directly. I need to use third-party wallet. So let me show you how to do this. So I no longer need Ledger Live, so I can just simply close it. I want to go to Google. And I want to install an app called Scatter. So Scatter EOS, it's on GitHub. So you can tap Scatter EOS GitHub into Google. Go into this Google repo here, GitHub repo, I meant. And then navigate to Scatter Simple here. And you can scroll down and grab the scatter that fits your OS. So in my case, that would be Windows. So you can click this and download scatter. All right, great. So scatter has finished downloading on my computer and I've installed it. So this is the welcome page in scatter. And what I want is click create new scatter. You can accept the terms, password. It doesn't really matter. It's not going to secure your Ledger account, so it doesn't really matter what you choose. Just choose a simple password. Basically, what we're going to do with Scatter is create a key pair. The public key will be given to us. The private key will be stored inside your Ledger device. So get started, generate secure key. See, this is not securing my Ledger account. OK, so I'm going to say yes. Um, Dan, okay. And no thanks, I'll do it later. Okay, now I'm in Scatter. You can see there is a lot of things going on here. Don't worry about these icons loading here. It would not affect your ability to Scatter. You can directly go into uh, the keys option here. So click on this and click create or import a key. So you might be wondering here, what is this going to do? It's going to create a key pair, public and private, using your Ledger device. Um, the public key will be shown on the screen, okay, so that's safe. The private key will be stored inside of the device, okay. Before I click create or import a key, I want to make sure that the EOS app is open on my device. Okay, so this doesn't mean it's open, you need to select the EOS icon, and then use both buttons simultaneously here to open the app. So application is ready, the app is ready to go, then you can click create or import a key. Select EOS.io, import from hardware. Now index number, by default is zero. It's, if it's your first account, keep that to zero. For me, I'm going to create a new key pair because I've used the zero index number. So I'm going to select one. But for you guys, if it's your first EOS account with a Ledger device, you can just leave index to zero, okay? All right, now I can click here and I'll be able to find the public key here. See, so it's hardware here. Okay, the public key is here. You can see it on the screen. The private key is inside of my Ledger device and is not showing, of course. 
Now, I need to activate this account, but there is no good way to do it via Scatter. So I need to use a different app to activate my US account via a third party. So let me show you how to do this. Go back to Google and go to a service called EOS x.io eos x.io there are many different services like this one but i chose this one because i thought it was more private so let me show you how to use it go into wallet click create account and select create account via exchange withdrawal or help from others i'm selecting this option because i'll be sending eos from an exchange wallet to activate this account okay now, new account name here, it needs to be 12 characters exactly, okay? Not 13 characters, not 11 characters. It needs to be exactly 12 characters long. In my case, I'm going to use um, Ledger Dan. I think that's 12 characters. Public key, that's the one I got from Scatter. So I can just copy the public key here. Go back to EOS X, paste that, and click continue. Okay, now it says instruction, log into your exchange, make an EOS transfer withdrawal with the following settings, amounts, that much um, EOS, sign up EOS, EOS, and the memo. Okay, so now I wanna head to my favorite exchange and send a transaction to this address and add this memo here. So see you in a second. Okay, so now I've logged into an exchange. For the purpose of this video, I'm using crypto.com, but you can use whatever exchange that you want. This is not endorsement for crypto.com in particular, any exchange can do. I've bought a little bit of EOS uh, to send to my Ledger account to activate it. Um, so I'm here in my EOS wallet on the exchange. I'm gonna hit withdraw, select add withdrawal address. So this step is very, very important, especially if you're using crypto.com. Make sure the network is EOS. The address should be the address that EOS dot, uh, EOSX.io gave you. So that's sign up EOS EOS. That's the address. It's not your typical address format. Okay. Memo, that's also very, very important. You need the whole thing. Okay. The whole thing. So that's your account name plus the public key together, separated with a dash. Now here it's giving me an error, but it doesn't matter. I can still proceed. Very important note again here, guys. You might notice that the minimum withdrawal limit on crypto.com is three EOS. So I cannot send less than that. Otherwise, crypto.com will not let me send EOS to activate my account. However, the amount needed to activate my account is only 0.5. Now, just to let you know, do not send more than the minimum that the exchange requires because the difference between the amount requested to create your, um, activate your account and the minimum here, three EOS, will most likely be lost, okay? So it's very, very important that you only send the minimum. Again, let me repeat this. Do not send more than the minimum because the difference between the cost to activate the account and the minimum that you can send might be lost, okay? So this is very, very, very important. Don't send your entire balance. Again, let me repeat this. Do not send your entire balance, okay? All right, let's proceed. So it looks like my withdrawal has completed. So my Ledger EOS account should be activated by now. So what I'm gonna do is go back to EOS X and I'm going to grab my account name here. Okay, so I'm Ledger Dan. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to use the Explore uh, feature of EOS X here to look up my account and see if it's been activated. So click Explorer, paste your account name. And yep, you can see my account has been activated. So it's all good. Now I cannot unfortunately manage 
my ledger account via the EOS X interface, I need to use a third piece of software called Anchor. So let's do it. You can go on Google, type gray mass EOS Anchor, and type, yep, grab this link here. So it needs to be graymass.com uh, slash uh, English slash anchor and download the desktop version here. Download now, anchor for desktop, download for Windows or your OS, of course. I'm gonna grab the one for Windows. And once the file has finished downloading on my computer, then I'll install it. Okay, so I just finished installing anchor on my computer. So now I'm going to click set up an account. So I'm going to choose just a simple password. Blockchains, uh, I'm going to select the EOS blockchain here. Okay, here, I'm going to click this button here, ledger disabled. I want to make sure my ledger is open and unlocked before I click enable ledger support. And I also want to make sure that the EOS app is open on my device. Okay, so select EOS, use both buttons to open it, and then it says application is ready. Now I want to click import an existing account, load from ledger, of course. Okay, this is my previously created account but I need to change the index number. Again, if it's your first time using Anchor, then you're fine. Your Ledger EOS account will appear here. No need to do anything else. For me, I'll, I'm going to go into Ledger settings here, change the key index number. You remember when I created the account the first time I uh, selected one as the index number. So that's the account that I wanna grab. Load accounts. And here's the account I was looking for. So I'm going to select both those accounts, click import, and here's my Ledger EOS account. Now, if I wanna manage my EOS account, I can go into wallets, um, select the destination account, select the token, so EOS or anything else, and create a transaction. And of course, I'll have to confirm the transaction with my Ledger device. Hey guys, before we wrap up, a very, very important note. This account that I use to activate my own Ledger EOS account, I don't wanna send more funds to it. This account here, sign up EOS EOS. If I send more funds to it, the funds might get lost because it's a third party account. Instead, going forward, when I wanna withdraw more EOS to my Ledger account, I wanna use my own account, I am Ledger Dan. So for example, in crypto.com, I had to create a new withdrawal address, whitelist it, and use it, okay? And you can see here, there is withdrawal to I am Ledger Dan. So this is super, super, super important, guys, and something to keep in mind. That's it, guys. Um, this is how to create a Ledger EOS account. I hope that was useful. Now, I understand the process is a little more complicated than other blockchains. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. You can find us on the Ledger uh, website at Ledger Support, or you can also reach out to us on Twitter. We are at Ledger underscore support. Be very, very careful on Twitter. There's a lot of fake uh, Ledger accounts. We will never DM you, okay? Uh, and our official account is the one with the check mark. It can be blue or white. It depends on um, the color that you chose for your account. Um, so yeah. Basically, don't hesitate if you need anything, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Thanks.